any sufficiently advanced magic is indistinguishable from technology. Welcome to the third episode of World Building Kijemin. I am Sean Fleur, aka Soaring Moon, your host for this series and creator of Kijemin, this fictional universe. This episode will cover some information about the universe's magic system, as well as some information about Kijemin themselves and casters of elemental magic called Gemites, which we will start with. The larger a Gemin is, the lower quality the gemstone tends to be. Smaller stones, on average, have a pure crystalline structure and are better suitable for use as a magical conduit. Skyland cores can be used for their energy and are sometimes cannibalized by large cities to power civil engineering projects, although this practice is highly regulated. The quality of a gemin is determined by the same factors that make gemstones of high quality on Earth. Cut, clarity, color, and carrot. Key Gemin's universe has a hard magic system with specific rules and many limitations. Colors and elements are strong against some and weak against others. The gemstone itself is gathered in one of two ways mining stone to find gemmen that have fallen long ago, or sifting through the topsoil to find gemmen that have fallen relatively recently. You can be lucky enough to find a gemmen of decent grade laying on the ground, in the grass, or in the street that has fallen from the sky. This is a once or twice in a lifetime event for city dwellers, and happens once or twice a week for explorers of uninhabited skylands. Gemmen picked off of or out of the ground in this way are uncut. Their quality, determined by the properties mentioned previously, will indicate what they are useful for. The gemstones are graded into 13 categories, each with a number ranging between 0 and 12 called grades. Grade 0 gemmen are undepleted stones that are not powerful enough to radiate their energy and will always retain their color. Depleted gem and stones are colorless and worth only their material value, which is significant, but are sold as construction material or used for tooling. Undepleted zero-grade stones are used for jewelry and adornment, or as an energy supply to feed other gemmen who can deplete them. Who is important here? as all gemmen stones are entities ranging from semi-sentient to sapient with their own thoughts, feelings, and emotions. When gemmen touch, they can either absorb magical energy from the stone they come into contact with to recharge their energy pool, or breed, which only happens under certain conditions. Gemmen of grades 1 through 12 can be used to cast elemental magic spell-like abilities, and to summon golems, called Kijemin. Jemin are capable of releasing elemental magical energy. A person who does this is called a Gemite. Gemites are required to have the color of Jemin which corresponds to the element they want to release. These stones do not have to be in the hands of the caster, but can be embedded in objects, pieces of equipment, and weapons. A weapon socketed with the stone will transmute it slightly, becoming an elemental weapon. Gemmen have the power to transmute the material in their surroundings to exhibit properties of their elemental radiation. Socketing red fire gemmen into a crossbow may cause the bolts within it to either become a flame or its tips to become red hot, the effects of which depend on the gemmen's disposition. The gemite can have the gemstone release the elemental energy directly in the form of an elemental bolt, beam, effects, radiated energy, or many other creative ways. They do this by convincing a gemin to do this for them. 
The Gemin can decline this request should they choose, but are fickle and lonely entities. They often value the lives of their possessors over their own as they have existed for eons, traveling through the void to the ground of Una, a place where they may have laid rested and buried for millions of years before being mined by the hands of a dreamer. Gemin have contemplated death for a long time. Most are happy to be utilized and relied upon by their possessor. Grades of Gemin higher than four can be used by a Gemite for their entire lives and do not threaten the depletion of the Gemin, which can be recharged anyway. There are some places where Gemites are regarded with disgust as a bastardization of the natural order. They are seen as forcing intelligent beings to do their bidding and to give up their life force to engage in human wars. The truth is more complicated than this, as it always is. Gemites are also seen as oppressors by the other class of Gemin users, Key Gemites. Key Gemites also utilize the Gemin, but do so by summoning golems. These golems, Key Gemin, are formed by a process called setting. A dreamer in possession of a Gemin can press the Gemin into a material. Much like socketing, this process transmutes the target material into a physical body the Gemin can use and explore the world with. Gemin can form Key Gemin without the need of a wielder, but rarely do so. The reason why is not well understood, but setting appears to need access to a spirit, which is possessed by all organic life. Key Gemin can form when exposed to fauna, plants, fungi, and even certain large enough bacterial colonies, which also canonically have a spirit. When a Gemin is pressed into a material, it can either take on a form or it can refuse. If they refuse, the process of setting does nothing. If the wielder and Gemin pair is successful, the resulting key Gemin will be made up of the material, consuming it in the process. Setting a key Gemin into a pile of gold will cause a spherical region of the gold pile around the set Gemin to be carved out of the pile, now walking around as an elemental golem. Key Gemin prefer materials in relation to their element. A red fire Gemin will want access to fuel or metal to make its form with. A scion electric Gemin will want to transmute a conductive material like copper, silver, gold, or graphite. A blue water Gemin might want just water or ice. The key Gemin can also form from a liquid as its physical appearance is maintained by magical Gemin radiation. The Gemin that makes up the golem's core stays suspended within it. The key Gemin can maintain its form for as long as it wishes or until it is depleted. If it desires to shed its key gem in form, its composite material will collapse to the ground and will rest as a gem in stone, requiring the setting process to again become a key gem in. Lower grades of gemin, between one and four, cannot maintain the key gem in form for an extended time. Their energy depletes quickly compared to its pure elemental force being released in castings. The practice of a key gemite is considered more gemane than that of a gemite. Key gemin, once set, have total autonomy and are free to roam the world of their own volition, never to see their wielder again. They can leave and fight their wielders for control if they are treated unfairly. Like key gemites, the gemin of a gemite caster can only release their elemental energy if the caster's spiritual energy allows. Weaker gemin of a gemite cannot retaliate against their wielder. Powerful grade gemin above eight can impose themselves upon the spirit of their possessor and form key gemin or release elemental magic against them. The forms of key gemin are typically associated with their element or related emotions. 
orange gemmen prefer the appearance of traditional golems and solid shapes. Yellow gemmen set to form fast or curious fauna, depending on disposition. Blue gemmen set to form terrifying creatures and inanimate objects, like dolls, puppets, and mannequins. Water and ice elemental representations are also common. You'll notice that the blue color is a little strange compared to the other examples. The magic of Kijemin's universe is influenced by two factors, color and emotion. The color of a Gemin can affect both the element and emotional state of its environment. Emotion can affect the way a Kijemin represents itself. This means that Gemin of specific colors tend to manifest as specific forms. It just so happens that the color blue is connected to unease, insecurity, apprehension, embarrassment, fear, humiliation, terror, and horror. At least, that is what the chart I made says. The forms of blue Gemin exhibit aspects of horror, unease, the uncanny valley, or invoke fear. They may also appear meek or shy. Blue Gemin are predisposed to these emotions more than Gemin of other colors. A red Gemin might also take the form of a weapon of war due to its connections with rage, anger, malice, and contempt. A person can possess as many Gemin as they like but can only have a connection to about three Kijemin. Because a Kijemin uses the spiritual energy of their summoner while they are fully formed, the pool of available spiritual energy is limited. Only three summoned Kijemin can be maintained constantly for a short period of time, and only one continuously. This group of three Gemin is referred to as a triad. Each member of the triad is a companion, and the triad has one leader, the familiar. Familiars have a unique bond with their Kijemite and can stay in their Kijemin form without consuming their energy reserves. Lower grade Gemin sometimes consume the spirit of the wielder to maintain their form. Higher grade Gemin can maintain its Kijemin form without the need for spiritual energy. Gemin can also be bred. Two willing Gemin that touch while in the vicinity of a strong enough spiritual source, like an intelligent being or a purple Gemin, as well as a depleted Gemin stone, can breed spontaneously. Each Gemin provides half of its existing pool of elemental energy, reigniting the stone. This creates the less common, bicolored Gemin, which has aspects of two elemental types. Gemin can have more than two colors but this property is very rare due to elemental conflicts. There are single-colored Gemin, bicolored Gemin, and Gemin that contain all elemental types, called all Geminel, Rainbow Gemin. One final thing to cover about this complex magic system. Since Skyland cores exist, which are made of Gemin, are large, and Gemin can set themselves when exposed to spiritual energy, Large key gemmen must also exist. Occasionally, although rarely, a Skyland core can undergo setting and transmute an entire Skyland into an elemental golem called a Kai gemmen. Kai gemmen are powerful and dangerous creatures. Although they don't immediately seek out and destroy cities, like any creatures, they hunt for food, which for them is other gemmen and key gemmen. It also happens that cities have a large concentration of Gemin present in them. Kai Gemin deplete their energy very quickly, and only live for a few days. Now you know some about the magic of the world of the Infinite Archipelago. The next episode of the series will cover flora and fauna, as well as some of the world's materials, which are mostly woods. The last few sections of my planned content are shorter, so I'm going to combine them in order to improve video runtime. After I finish the content that is pre-planned, I will be writing new content, better fitting for the length of the series to continue it on into the future. As always, thank you for watching, 
and I will see you on the next episode of World Building Kijemen.